there gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Co channel, and today we have a preview of Draconis the RPG. Hey there gamers, it's Professor Mag here, and welcome back to the Board Game Co channel. Today we have a preview of Draconis the RPG. Thank you to Studio Agate for sponsoring this video, and this is all uh, subject to change, and I wouldn't say a prototype copy in front of me, but everything is still being worked on. And that being said, uh, Studio Agate is also a French company. Uh, they're from Paris, so this is originally developed in French and then being translated over to English. So that being said, for the sake of today's preview, some of the things in front of me are in English. I'll be able to, I'll be talking in English the entire time, uh, but that being said, some of the things you may see, such as this book here, uh, everything, uh, those are in French, so just note that. Um, but that being said, Draconis is an RPG with a quite of a twist. Uh, not only are you in a world with tons of dragons, which everyone absolutely loves, but on top of that, it is a new con or a new system that is combat free. Uh, so you are not having any combat, it is ways to resolve different things that are honestly very clever, and it kind of makes you think you're more on a story arc of an adventure as opposed to a dungeon crawling type RPG. So this is a combat free way to either introduce players to different RPGs and the systems or if you just want to play in this world and apply it to your different 5e games you can take a lot of the supplementary stuff and put it together. So with that being said I'm going to go over what all of this is. Now when playing an RPG players will need a leader and the leader will be the one running the game. The leader will be the one using a lot of all of these supplementary books and they'll be using that to put players through a story. Now Draconis has a five chapter story that you will be able to run your players through but that being said as I said this is all integratable with 5e so there's a ton of supplementary stuff such as just different dragon statistics and new classes that have been developed so you have a whole bunch of stuff that you'll be able to integrate into your 5e games as well either before or after you play these adventures. Now, as I said, the world and campaign of Draconis is going to be quite different because you're not going to have combat. So this is going to be a way to resolve things, and I'm going to give you an example now, but for example, if you're trying to befriend a certain type of dragon, and the dragon is maybe a bit rude, doesn't want to be friends with you, and you find out that it likes a particular tasty type of treat, you may have to venture out, find that treat, retrieve it, and bring it back to that dragon to be able to befriend it. Now, that's a very light example, but there are going to be other examples where you are going to be investigating different things and trying to put clues together to see how you can resolve these different issues. So these are known as dramatic locks. The dramatic locks are going to be different things to present your players with that they aren't going to be able to move forward until they figure out that little piece of the puzzle. And a dramatic key is going to be the thing to get you out, such as the tasty treat. So now this is a little bit of a spoiler, but this is a scene that you would be playing through and you can see where it gives you the setting for you to give your players and then the different things that can happen, such as the raving Rovin that you can interact with or eavesdropping and things like that. And you'll be able to use the different things within each setting and the abilities of the dragons that you are befriending and adding to your team to be able to get through these different situations and progress forward. Now players are still going to have a sense of of urgency and the leader of the game which is also the known as like the dungeon master they are going to be able to use different context within the game such as having this tie to family members of the players or things like that to be able to incentivize them to move towards these different goals now this RPG has a whole lot, and in my opinion, it has a lot to get you started from the very beginning, even being a newer leader and playing through this game with your players. So there is, for the leader, this Choose Your Adventure style book um, that you're going to be able to get, and it is going to take you through all of the rules of the game. So it's a solo adventure for the leader, which I think is just really special and nice for them to be able to play with, and you're going to be able to go through this to learn not only more about the dragons and the world and things like that, but how the decision making will work in the game so that way you can apply it to your players in the future so that's something that's going to be available for the leader and then another thing that you're going to be able to get is there are six pre-generated characters uh, so this looks huge in front of me because it's all six um, but there are six pre-generated characters um, I will open up just one of them now because I want to go over three of them specifically now again this is something that is in French um, but this is the pre-generated characters that you would be able to get in whatever language you want uh, but that being said they also developed three new classes for this uh, campaign. So 
for the three new classes, because there is no combat, they wanted to change things up to make it make a bit more sense. Um, so there is first this, I want to say it's Dracomicus. Um, it's a, I, I'm so sorry about pronouncing it, um, but this is a spell caster that gets to work with their dragons. So this is one that would get a dragon familiar. And something that's also very interesting about this is that the dragon familiars that you're getting, because they're dragons and they're a whole lot smarter than something like a bear, uh, different players could be able to play your dragon. So if you choose to be one of the two classes I'm going to show you, you could have someone else play as your dragon, or you could roleplay them yourself, or that's also a way for the leader to kind of interact with the players as well. That if you're a leader that you usually want to play with your other players, that's something you can do. Uh, so this is one that is a spell caster that is able to conjure a vision of their familiar and things like that, um, but they focus on spell casting. And then we also have the guide, and the guide is a version of the ranger, which I absolutely love rangers. And this is one because it is uh, not combat focused, it gives you the dragon familiar and then just kind of changes the class up a bit to be a bit more useful in this type of a situation, which you can imagine when you're trying to find useful, clever ways to fix something, a ranger would be uh, somebody you might want to call on for something like that. And then for you, those of you that are familiar with the Fate Forge series, um, there is also a scholar class. So there's a scholar class that you were able to play as, and then after that the other three are all pre-generated characters for classes you know, such as Rogue and Bard. Now, another thing added to the game to make it even more interesting is going to be spell cards. Uh, again, this is something in French, but there are all these spell cards that are added to the game that you're going to be able to use with your players as they game them throughout the game. Now there is also a travel deck which is going to be a bunch of random different encounters. So as the leader, if you are worried that your players are going to have downtime or if they'll start being a lull, you're able to pull these at any time and there's a whole bunch of them planned here that you did not have to come up with that all tie into the world and the themes and it's something that the players are going to get to interact with to keep them engaged in the game but also have them interacting with so many different story points that they really develop their own personal game. Now another thing to note is that the dragons that are developed for this game all have their own statistics, again, that you're able to pull over to 5e. So you are able to pull over the different familiar classes if you like, but you can also use these dragons in different settings as the leader in the future in any of your games. So you can see here that they provide the stats for all of the different dragons, and there are so many planned throughout the game that are both, you know, big and small, kind of making them the true dominant creature of the entire world. So you have all of these statistics that are provided for you for the game, and over here, this is also just a supplementary book that I want to show you. So this has all of the different dragons. Here we have the Musies. These are like little garden dragons that are just super benign and, and just happy to be there and hang around. Uh, you can see there's a little biscuit recipe for them here. Um, but if you flip through so you can find like the much more majestic dragons and you can see where they show the different type of scales and what is good for them such as armor for bony plates, things like that. Um, so you can see there's just so many different types of dragons depending on the region that you are exploring and depending on how lucky you are that you're able to get close enough to them and befriend them throughout the game because it really can be tricky since there is no combat and you're not really casting spells to harm them or stop them you kind of have to use all of your wiles to make sure that you are able to do what you can to befriend these different dragons all in all, Draconis is offering a whole lot for anyone who loves RPGs or if you're looking to get into them, especially if you love dragons. This is a good gateway for you to get into the game, especially without combat, and even as a new leader, there's a way for you to learn all of the rules and introduce you into this setting, so it can be really great for that, but also if you have some 5e lovers that really love dragons, this is some new classes that have some really cute dragons that you can play with, and other ones that you can interact with throughout the game. Now there's a couple other different things if you get this deluxe box, um, this box would hold everything, there's this bag for your dice, and there are some dice over here that you were able to get, and before before we go, um, you also can get this folder with a whole bunch of supplementary stuff. So the supplementary stuff that would be included is things that you're able to give out to your players, such as maps, and these are just so nice that I'm really, really impressed with everything that is already planned out for this RPG, but that being said, coming from Studio Agate in the Shadows of Esterian system, I'm not surprised. This has been a preview of Draconis, I'm Professor Meg, thank you all for watching the Board Game Co channel, and I will see you next time. Bye!